then comes how does salesforce cpq can reduce code to cache time all right let's let's take an example of a flow diagram again in order to understand it uh let's have that slide again and uh, don't don't uh, you can showcase me but you can later to remove me from that slide ah uh, i can be there yeah wish remove wish <laughs> all right uh, just a second uh all right so let's start with uh you have you have an opportunity to deliver a code to a prospect right uh you you get the products configured you get the right pricing done for it you add the right discounts accordingly uh, which uh, which gets validated by the discounting rules and everything and then you present the code to the prospect right so this is a whole uh quote generation process where you configured the products did the uh, added the pricing and created a quote and sent it to the uh customer and uh, after a back and forth if required and uh, if you are lucky enough to not have a back and forth after you just send the quotation uh, it uh, once it gets approved uh, and, the, and and the prospect agrees to place the order and by the way uh, before the prospect gets uh, prospect ap agrees to place an order uh, before that if there are some approvals that are required from the sales managers or from the uh, different people in your organization uh, if the in the case you have placed some uh, approval processes according to different uh, rules that you have implemented into that uh, once th once that get that gets approved and you share that quotation with the client and once it gets approved uh, you get the order right uh, and you get an approval to uh, place an order so you just uh, process the order after processing the order the invoice gets created and the new customer pays for that and as soon as the new customer pays for that uh, there is an opportunity for a payment gateway integration or something like that that you can incorporate into it uh, one platform for that is charge on uh, we, yes. so as i said i love sales people and i am the i am a salesman uh, so i never uh, miss a, or miss an opportunity or miss a chance to sell one of our products uh, which is charge on uh, so it's the number one uh, payment integration application uh, that works on salesforce which is absolutely native onto salesforce and which helps you receive payments from any of the payment gateways in salesforce itself uh, without going out from it right so uh, you just try that out name is charge on c h a r g e o o n right so uh, yeah once you uh, get the cash uh, for the sale and uh, that cash gets alloc allocated uh and then you just make sure the additional values uh, that uh, i mean the additional value you keep the additional values in mind for the customer in the form of cross selling and upselling whenever you want to make some cross sell and upsell you just make sure uh, that you do that the data for all of the points of process is analyzed and gets reported and your process is improved for the next sales uh so the complete cycle is something that we call as sales cycle but what we call as code to cash is a place where your quotation gets created approved and then the order gets placed and then the invoice gets created and then the cash gets collected and then the revenue gets reported analyzed and accordingly utilized for the next upsell cross sell and whatever opportunity that you want to use it for this is code to cash right and uh, when we say this is code to cash uh this is a very important thing that comes as a part of salesforce cpq without which the complete sales cycle cannot be managed so yeah and and we we can primarily divide both of these into two parts uh, one is primarily taking care of the um product configuration pricing and quotation part and another one is taking care of the billing of it and the order fulfillment part of it so this complete uh, helps you in not just improve the experience of your sales reps but also helps you uh increase the number of opportunities that you can make money in uh provide quotations faster keep the record of everything that is happening in your organization starting from how many leads are getting quotations till how many of them are getting converted and agreeing to place an order till how many of them are buying at the end of the day uh, once the order gets fulfilled and having all of that in a visualized way as reports so i think if if you've got something like this uh, just don't have a sales director <laughs> this is going to do the job for you no no you don't you do need that sales director in order to do a lot of stuff but all what i'm trying to explain over here is uh, all of this can be managed with the help of a product or a 
yeah application or a platform no not a platform but an application like salesforce cpq uh so yeah that's what it is